Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to make LED chaser without IC using only transistors. This is my circuit. To understand how this circuit works, first you have to know the transistor working concept. Transistor has three pins, collector, emitter and base. It's working as a switch. Assuming we have a DC lamp that connected in series with a transistor. In the normal situation, the lamp doesn't work in, but when we connect a positive voltage to the base of the transistor, the transistor allows the current to flow in from collector to emitter, and the lamp lights up. But how much voltage we need on the base to run in the transistor? The voltage on the base should be at least 0.7 volt more than the voltage of the emitter. In this case, because the emitter of the transistor connected to the ground, which is 0 volt, so we need voltage on the base equal to 0 plus 0 0.7, which is 0 0.7 only. But if the voltage on the emitter was, for example, 1 volt, in this case, we need 1.7 volt on the base to run in the transistor. To make in this voltage drop on the emitter, we can use in Zener diode or even resistors. So I connect the transistor and the LED as shown here. This resistor using for limiting the current through the LED. This resistor using to make in voltage drop on the emitter. And this 2K resistor using to limiting the base current. When the transistor is turned off, the current running through the LED and LED lights up and some voltage drop across this resistor. Let's say the LED drawing 10 milliamps of current. So the voltage drop on the emitter is 0.1, so the base of the transistor needs to 0.8 volt to turn off the LED. The voltage across the LED become about 0 volt and the LED turns off. I'm using the same transistor circuit for each channel. The only difference between them is the value of the resistor between emitter and the ground. Let's say the LED drawing 10 milliamps of current. So the voltage drop on the emitter of the first channel is 0.1, in the second channel is 0.2, in the third channel is 0.33, and so on. So the base of the transistor in first channel needs to 0.8 volt to turn off the LED. The base of the second channel needs to 0.9 volt. The base of the third channel needs to 1.03 volt and so on. Then I hooked up the base of all transistors together. Now I need triangle wave generator to turn on and off the LEDs sequentially. To do that, I'm using this oscillator using two transistors. Because the output of this circuit is sequer wave, so I'm using RC circuit to convert the sequer wave to triangle wave. Then I convert this circuit to PCB and going to PCBWay.com. Insert the PCB size, quantity and color. Then click Add to Cart, upload your Gerber file and complete the payment. After about 2 months, I received my package. Then I soldered the components on the PCB. I'm running the circuit with 3V and as you can see, it's working. You can order this circuit from PCBWay.com. I put the link below in the description. As you can see, at minimum voltage level of the oscillator, the LEDs running together at the same time. And when the voltage starts to increase, in, the LEDs turn off one by another. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.